fish on one. Big one. Big one. Stay on there, you pig. Oh yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. Stay on. Stay on. Come here. Come here. Yeah! Got a big boy, Bobby. Uh, not quite dragon, but upper 20s, no doubt. On the pink. They like the pink. That's a heavy fish. That's a heavy net. That was a recent catch of a delicious snakehead. You guys have been requesting more catch and cooks. So this is gonna be a catch and cook on snakehead. It's a very mild fish. So any sort of chicken recipe or seafood recipe you can think of, this fish works for it. Um, we eat this fish a lot all summer long. So we've been coming up with different recipes to enjoy it. And today we're gonna to be doing snakehead Alfredo. We have everything prepped already. This is the snakehead cut up in little bits and little strips. All we did was season out with a little Old Bay. Over here we got a little plate of chopped up red peppers. Let's cook these, put them aside, and then we'll make the Alfredo. Our pan should be up to temperature for the peppers. I'm just going to do a little olive oil in that pan. For the fish, butter. Kerry Gold Butter is my favorite. Use whatever you want. There's some of that in the pan. Now we've, we've cooked this fish like this plenty of times. Just butter and Old Bay on the snake head and it tastes like crab meat. We've done crab cakes with it before. Well, snake cakes with a crab cake recipe. Let's cook our vegetables. Set the peppers in. And this is where the magic happens. Butter and Old Bay covered snake head. Absolutely amazing. Let's turn this up a little bit. There we go. We've done this recipe once before. We used the red peppers. It's kind of a nice little color contrast, but you don't need to put them in there. Obviously, cook them as, as hard or as soft as you like. I weighed this snake head up. It's about three pounds of meat, which is twice my normal recipe for this. So it's a lot of meat for this pan, but that's okay. We'll get it cooked. It, it doesn't take too long, this method. Just a little butter and Old Bay. Just roll them around so they're all white. Snakehead's a pretty dense fish. It acts more like chicken, so you don't have to worry about it flaking apart like, you know, a catfish or something like that. Since it's bikini season, we're doing this not with pasta. We're actually going to be using spaghetti squash, and this is the easiest way to cook it. I already have it all prepped up. I cut it about an inch, inch and a half thick, and then you carve out your, your guts. I hit it with a little olive oil and a little salt and pepper on both sides. Preheat the oven to 400. And then jam her in there. The cooking process of the fish doesn't take long. We're gonna check them. Well, first, uh, our peppers are done. We're gonna set them aside. And our fish, looking pretty good. Grab a big chunk. Yep, that's done. Turn that off. Gotta do a little tester. It's so delicious. Cook this way, it tastes like jumbo lump crab meat. Do it, you will not regret it. We took them out of the pan so they'd stop cooking. Obviously you can go to the store and buy some BS in a jar. This ain't no store-bought recipe BS. This is my personal homemade recipe for Alfredo sauce. I made it years ago. We've used it for chicken, shrimp, now snakehead. I suggest giving it a try. It's better than anything you're gonna buy at the store and anything you're gonna get in a restaurant. We're gonna start with some butter, carry gold, obviously. Now this recipe is for three pounds. I have three pounds of meat here. In the description, I'll leave you a recipe for about a pound and a half of meat, whatever meat you want. Get your butter all melted. And we're gonna add minced garlic. This is where it smells amazing. Oh baby, already amazing. Stir that around. You cook the garlic for about a minute or so till it starts to brown. Then you add your heavy cream. Clip, 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 clip. This is where you need to slow down a little bit. You turn your heat down a little bit and you just sort of mix all this in and get it all up to temperature. Our spaghetti squash have been in for about 18 to 20 minutes. We're gonna pull them out and flip them over. Now jam them back in. For another 18 to 20 minutes. So it's been a few minutes stirring lightly and now we're starting to get some some little bubbles peeking up. 
So we know it's up to temperature, now I'm gonna start adding some seasonings. First, salt. You know, you can season salt and pepper it is, you know, as much or as little as you like salt and pepper, but salt, pepper, I like to put a little layer on it like that. And I get this from somebody, some really old recipe, but a little secret ingredient. Sounds weird. Ground nutmeg for Alfredo sauce. Put a little sprinkle of that on top. And as you can see, we need to stir that in because we're starting to boil a little bit. We don't want it to boil. It's okay if it's slow bubbles, but we don't want it to boil. It's starting to look nice color wise. Like I said, my recipe will be down in the description. I do a little salt, pepper, and the nutmeg, and then like I'll taste it a little later, and if I need to add a little bit more, I will. You definitely don't want it to boil. If it does start to boil, turn your heat down. At this point, the bubbles are getting a little big, so I'm just gonna put it on low. All you're trying to do now is simmer it. You're trying to thicken the sauce up a little bit. You definitely want to keep it moving. Now, to help thicken it up a little bit more, we're gonna add some cheese. I prefer Dublin Derby. You can use any sort of hard white cheddar. We're gonna take some shredded Dublander, throw that in there, melt that up. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. And a little grated Parmesan cheese. That is one tasty beverage. Once the cheese starts to melt a little bit, you wanna stir it in, you can see the bubbles coming up there. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Getting nice and thick. That's how I like my ladies. Really? I mean, that's how I like my sauce. A little better. This is not a sauce you want to walk away from. Whenever you're working with cream, you don't want it to like burn or curdle. Uh, just slowly bring it to your desired thickness. And remember, like as it cools, it'll thicken. So right now, as hot as it is, I think that's about perfect consistency for what we want. So we're gonna turn the stove off now, add back in our fish. Delicious snakehead and our peppers. So the stove is off, but the fish at this point in time is cold. So it's gonna bring the temperature down to the Alfredo sauce. So we're just gonna mix that in. The Alfredo is gonna heat up the fish and the fish is gonna cool down the Alfredo and thicken it up. We just gotta wait for our noodles to be done. Our squash noodles to be done. You can do regular noodles. I would do that too. But if I did that too, I'd be 500 pounds instead of 300 pounds. Now that that's all mixed in and looking delicious, we're actually gonna move it off the heat. All right, been another 18 minutes. Pull out our pasta, and now we're gonna show you how to prepare it. And now we're gonna turn this into a plate of spaghetti noodles. I take a, a butter knife or a regular dinner knife, use the back side, not the actual sharp side, go around the edge, of your squash, spaghetti squash, until that falls out. Then you cut it. I'm gonna let that cool for a second. This is really hot. 400 degrees to be exact. Once it's cooled off, then you take it and you squeeze it like this, and it actually turns right in. So look at that, angel hair pasta. It's still really hot. But this is the best way to make spaghetti squash, if that's your thing. Look at that, looks like pasta. And while I'm messing with that, it gave our sauce a little time to cool down and hopefully thicken. And oh yeah, look at that, nice and thick. So I'm gonna plate this up for me. Snakehead Alfredo, nothing but homemade. And I'm telling you, you gotta give this sauce a try. Whether you have snakehead in your neck of the woods or not, do chicken, shrimp, whatever. Let's go taste. And now our favorite part. We like to do a little garnish of Old Bay when anything seafood. We already did that off camera to take a thumbnail picture. And a little garnish of Parmesan cheese. Thank you. <sighs> Quiet house and snakehead Alfredo. <laughs> Delicious. 
We're gonna make animal noises. <laughs> it's so good. It is amazing. <laughs> it's so unbelievably good. The snakehead is such a versatile fish. I mean, you can, you can, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I've tried to mess this fish up. Coconut. I've undercooked it. Well, you can't really undercook it. I've overcooked it. I've messed it up. Much like chicken. You, you can mess up chicken overcooking it. But this fish is just so good for so many things. Mm -hmm. And something like Alfredo. I've never heard of anybody want to put fish in Alfredo sauce, but this works so well. I mean, it, 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 it's a it's fish, like crab. Sea, fish seafood hybrid. Mm -hmm. Everybody call it all the time. You know, try this like recipe, crab. don't try this recipe. Try the Alfredo sauce if you don't have snakehead in your neck of the woods. Mm -hmm. It, it, it's all going to be non-disappointing. I like the rest of our evening. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Just laughs and giggles. Uh-huh. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to enjoy the rest of our evening. Thank you. <sighs> Until next time, God bless. Cheers. Okay. Mm. The fish cooked this way is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Just the fish and the butter in the Old Bay. You don't need to do anything else. Just fish, butter, Old Bay. So good. That's why it works in so many things. It takes on the flavors of anything you want mm -hmm. it to take on. You can make it taste like crab. You can make it taste like chicken, fish, whatever. Mm -hmm. Shrimp. Mm. Bye. Bye. Obviously, you can go to the store and buy store-bought Alfredo, but that's bullshit. Obviously, you can go to the store and buy some BS in a jar. This ain't no BS store-bought recipe. Recipe. Okay. <laughs> you don't giggle enough. <laughs> Alright, stop. Not you. I'm talking to me.